with Like the Morning, well, part of Like the Morning. Uh, so they are two thirds of Like the Morning. And why don't you guys kind of introduce who you are um, individually and what you do, what your role is in the band. My name's Adrian. I'm a lead guitarist and the only guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> also rhythm. My name is Orlando, just the drummer. Um, holding the beat down with with him and Johnny. That's not here, but with Johnny. And Johnny is, what does he do? This is where Johnny would be if he was here. <laughs> we have a microphone for him and everything. <laughs> Johnny is our bassist and our singer, and he has come up with the majority of the songs that we've Okay, yeah. so that's definitely going to dive into one of my questions, and we can just get into that mm -hmm. one. Um, when I interview bands, which I've done a couple times now, um, I really like to kind of understand or kind of pick your guys' brain on the writing process. So I kind of like to know where ideas stem from, um, who comes up with most of the ideas, and how that kind of plays in the vibe of the music you guys are trying to put out. Sometimes one of us will play something that just sounds like, we'll stop and be like, hey, play that again. And we'll build off of that. It's it's kind of accidental. It's we really don't go in thinking, hey, we're gonna write a song today, or hey, we're gonna do this. It just like he'll come up with an idea, or I will, and we'll stem from that. Lots of repetition, lots of going back, changing things. Okay. And he does bass. You said he's the bass. So bass kind of kind of um, lays a, a base for the song, right? Yeah, Is that kind of where that comes from too? Well, he's very creative. He plays a lot of melodic things on the bass. Okay. So more even like melody lines, okay. and so a lot of the stuff that we do is kind of. An idea he brings to the table, something that maybe he's had saved on some computer somewhere. Okay. Um, and then from that is where most of this music is being created. Nice. Um, and literally, we we don't come in saying that we're gonna write a song today. Like you said, we we just have this commitment, and we get together almost every week. We try to at least three That's times good. a month. Okay. And then it's from kind there. Of the hardest part sometimes, right? Getting together. Yeah. We've been pretty good. About it. Yeah, we've been we've been pretty good okay. about it. That's rare in bands these days, I actually. I know. It's only three of us. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so how did you guys meet? How did you form the band? Because you've all had your mm. own little individual backgrounds, I'm sure, over the yeah. years playing phenomenally. Yeah. I've heard you guys. So I know you guys didn't just all of a sudden become a band out of nowhere. Well, a couple years ago, I was looking for a band. Okay. They found me. And that's, that's how I met Johnny. And mm. we had a different drummer and a different singer at the time. Completely different band. Yeah. The band's not together anymore. Okay. But that's that's so that's how I met Johnny and then after that band broke up we kind of stuck together and we were already looking for a replacement drummer for that band right so we ended up just well he found you I think you can talk about that one yeah um is it like online dating like <laughs> hey I like the way you play it's or band, how does that work band tinder yeah. dude they should have do they have something? Like I, I don't know. I've seen a couple of things out there. Dude, I think like, I have seen something yeah. kind of like. Well, social media window for musicians. For musicians, thing, yeah, yeah. right? Why wouldn't there be? Because a lot of times bands form off of, they have the passion, but they don't have the rest of the pieces that they're missing. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Like people showing up to practice or not showing up to practice. That's and the hardest. Bands that's break up. that's one of the biggest things. Though. Yeah, that's I feel sorry to cut yeah. you off, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, well, um, I met Johnny first, and then basically. He said, hey, we're looking for a new drummer for some project. And then I got brought into a room, and it was us three in the room. Okay. And Johnny said, by the way, that project is no more. And we were just in the room with nothing. And the way I met him, actually, I was just getting so back. Like, I like it, it, it was It was, it was very, that's no how I met more. him. So I was, we, we were in this white room, this little white room together. <laughs> and okay. that's, he's like, this is Adrian, <laughs> and this is the new group. The other thing is done, and where do we go from here? Okay. Yeah, and it was. That's really, literally how I met him. Yeah, and everyone was just like, "Let's do this." Yeah, we just. Yeah. Nice. We we actually didn't know what we were going to sound like. Okay. Yeah. We, just, we say we're we didn't like know each other. It was our first something. time meeting each other. That's that's crazy. And I just had met met Johnny like about a month prior. Okay. And it was literally I went to some open mic night, and then he was up there. He was actually just had his uh, guitar, and he was singing like Motown music, and he's asked me to get up on the drums, played with them, jammed with them, exchanged numbers. Next thing I heard was, hey, can you meet us in, in this white, white room? room. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of is like a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah is, you never yeah. know who you're going to meet. That's true. <laughs> did, you, did you tell anybody where you were going? I know. Did you, tell, did you tell your mom, like, the address? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my gosh. So. Okay, so I see, that's always very interesting to me because, like I said, there are bands who obviously, like, people grow up together and they like the same kind of music and they try to form a band doesn't work out for whatever reason but musicians who are actually take it like really seriously 
I think that's kind of the only way you're really gonna meet other musicians is through that professionalism you know what I mean like yeah. I like the way they play I like the, what I see in them and then try to form a band is that that is kind of how well yeah that, not being in a band that's how it's <laughs> worked for me in the past where I've tried to wiggle my way yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's like I like their sound they don't have a lead guitarist mm, they kind like of the, I've done lead that guitarists would look good on you <laughs> <laughs> it's like I look good you just take me <laughs> I like that yeah. and your guys' backgrounds as far as where did your musical interests come from? Mm. Well, I, I first got a guitar when I was 13. My parents gave me a guitar. And it's kind of funny because I wanted to play the drums. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I really wanted to play the drums. but They're like, we can't handle that noise. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an electric guitar and an amplifier. We can do that. It's like, but not, not that noise. Yeah. So I started taking lessons like in high school and private lessons. Mostly like finger style. Okay. Like, not classical, but rotating bass. I don't know how you, how I would describe the type okay. of music, but from there to like blues, that was, that was my big thing. Now I'm not into the blues at all, which is funny, but that's, that's what I started off, like off with. And what inspired you to kind of start it in a way? Yeah, because, okay. well, that's all my parents would listen to. Yeah. It's like, yeah. so that's the only kind of guitar music that I really knew until, you know, I got into junior high and someone was like, hey, listen to this Black Sabbath album. Ooh, and, Ooh. It changed your world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Changed a couple of things, but it was, it was, I guess, classic rock is what started me. Right. Are you still rooted in classic rock? Is that where you're A little bit? A, a little bit. It's, it's been a lot more funk based now. Okay. I like fun. Yeah, I've been really into fun recently. Okay. And what about you, Orlando? Where did it start for you, or how old were you? Um, well, I began to take classes, or I was, I don't know, third grade? How old you are in third grade? I'm really bad at that, too. But I'm really, like, around yeah. that age. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought about, like, what really brought me into it. I've always had music uh, from my parents, just okay. playing around music in the house. They're not musicians. I was like, oh, Yeah, okay. they're not musicians at all, but they was, my dad always, always had music on. And I guess the earliest thing I can remember, I went straight to drums. Um, I remember just Santana. Oh, I think okay, Santana. I say, that's what, what I think. What, what really grabbed my attention? What did I remember when I was a child? Okay. And I think it was just a bunch of like Santana, along with the other stuff. Nice. Uh, my mom's from Puerto Rico, so it was a lot of conga and African type, you know, that kind of music, salsa, and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So I've always had drums in my ear. Love so it. I think that's where. That's definitely okay, where. But I just from. always been drums. I mean, I, I pick up a guitar and strum here and there, but I'm not a guitar player. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just but straight to it. But that's good because every band needs a piece of the puzzle, and that's perfect that you guys met and found each other. So yeah. it wouldn't be the kind of band it is if you played that yeah. well of guitar. <laughs> I you want to. I know, right? Um, so I love that you mentioned Santana. I just always like to touch on those kind of things because I grew up with a heavy Santana influence. Like my dad, that's his favorite musician ever, and. I thought it was really beautiful that I, I don't know why I didn't put this together, but my favorite artist, Lauren Hill and Santana had a collaboration and I didn't yeah. freaking know that that was Santana, but now it makes so much sense. Um, it was Zion. Just shout out to Lauren and Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's really cool. Awesome. And our parents definitely have a huge influence on us, on us obviously, in both yeah. of your guys' stories. Like that's where a lot of things root are rooted from. And it's kind of cool to watch that develop into your adulthood. And, um, the kind of music you guys are making now, would you, do you think you're going to make that type of music with this band for as long as possible, or will you guys ever change up the sound a little bit? Because more and more when I talk to musicians now, they go through phases, they go through transitions of sounds because they're discovering themselves, and as a creative, you don't kind of just fit in one genre anymore. So, will we see different things from you guys? But none of our songs really sound like it's... I mean, we've been not together for quite so long, and it's hard to put a finger on somebody asks, which genre is your music? Mm -hmm. We always, like, look at each that's other. Or if I'm on my stuff, like... That's a scary question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think we're influenced by a lot of things. Um, especially, I mean, uh, Johnny. I yeah. met him. He was just doing... He had a, a, nyl a nylon string guitar playing Motown. But then once I actually read to get to know him, he's actually, like, a punk player. Okay. So like totally different spectrums, yeah. but then he listens to other things. And me, I listen to like a lot of R and B at home. Nice. And then our stuff is more like kind of since it has a bass as a main pushing the main melody line. It's like I guess it's like a funk type of a thing to it, but with the aggressive guitar yeah. overtones. Okay. Anyway, so it's a lot of mix. I guess the point I'm trying to get to is uh, our we don't really have rules nice. of like we want this sound. <laughs> 
and so right. if it goes anywhere else I think it'd be perfectly natural for us to kind of like just kind of go where explore it feels. different things see I really appreciate that in any kind of musician because one I, I really take that from my husband who's a musician as well like I really don't think you can just be one flavor he, as he calls it like mm. you different moods call for yeah. different you could, you're not going to turn on the same song every time you feel sad happy or mad like you want to put on different songs that make you feel different things so I really appreciate when musicians can incorporate that mm. into stories as well as, as their real life or whatnot through their music. Yeah. I do think we'll probably continue kind of what we're doing. It'll it'll evolve, sure, but it's uh, I like it because I music I played in the past really didn't like pull from creativity so much. Okay. It's that's that's kind of what we're yeah. doing. We're making everything different when we do it. We you know time signatures. We sometimes do that like. Yeah. <laughs> three stops instead of four to make it a little weird with certain songs. This time, you know? let's try. Let's try it this way this time. Yeah, this, this is like this that. is different. Let's try this instead. You know, yeah. this is what's expected. So this is what we'll do. You okay. know, we'll try something else. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, so how long have you guys been a band then? What do you say? Um, I never. Like, I never picked well, it, like, like this us, when we started. Like us. What would you say? Maybe. Yeah. He's yeah. like, what are we? No, <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I saw that look. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really put a thumb on the date or around the time, but it's been a little over a year. I feel like you yeah, we weren't, we weren't together last Christmas, were we? <laughs> I don't know, so it's probably oh, just yeah. a little over a year. It sounds so funny. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's cute. I like it. <laughs> you mean you don't remember the, <laughs> the date, date you yeah. met? <laughs> made I'm just saying, I mean, even like a, I can't even, I don't I know. I mean, that's a lot of passion. That's a lot of time. <laughs> Come on, guys. You yeah. owe it to each other uh, to have an anniversary. Yeah. You do. I actually, yeah, I actually do not remember. I'm anniversary. sorry. I want to say a little over a year. A little over a year. It's been, it's, been more, it's been a year, but not much more. So yeah. I've definitely had a chance to see you guys perform, and you guys are awesome. You've okay. actually performed here at the lab before um, for just a little family event. And, um, <laughs> and I've also seen the things that you guys have done via online. I get to watch you guys um, travel and journey through this thing called life together. And I want to kind of know about this video shoot if I can oh, okay. get a little more information it, on that because you left it kind of intriguing um Maybe it's funny because he <laughs> like that? yeah I'm excited <laughs> it's funny because our base is just like sent us a video of behind the scenes footage from it but it's do I get that no I'm just kidding I <laughs> send it to you okay yes. okay I just saw it right now too I didn't you heard see it, it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh cool. yeah Baby Bash and one of Danny Trejo's uh, artists uh, Tara Nu that yes, name? that's her name. It's uh, she's she was uh filming a music video right. in Los Angeles with Baby Bash. She has a song with him, and I don't know exactly like it'd be great if we had Johnny here because he could fill in some of these. Videos, right, right. But, um, I'll take what I can get. Just let me know. <laughs> his his cousin, who we also play music with from time to time, somehow lined us up to be the background band in the music video. So if we we kind of just had to stand there and like. Pretend like we were playing. He actually had to play the drums to make nice. it look convincing. <laughs> but, nice. You know, just standing there, you know. That's but, awesome. But it was it was fun, you know. So when is that coming out, or what is it? Probably soon. I we were just the background band, you know. Not just like I don't get to be the background <laughs> band. Like that's cool, you know. That's awesome, actually. And you guys said that it was one of your friends too. That kind of yeah. Made it was, a I think I saw him online, Barber. Yeah, Code of the yeah, Barber. Yeah, 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 there you go. Who's somebody we'll be playing with tomorrow at the... So shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Code of the Barber. Out. This might come out in a couple weeks, but oh. they'll be playing. They'll be playing yeah. in a few weeks we'll back, promo. spooky. But <laughs> in the past. At the Granada Theater in Ontario. Nice. We'll be doing that tomorrow night. So I love that. Awesome. How are you feeling about that one? I feel good. I mean, the last couple of practices, I felt good. So we go out there, get it done on the show yeah okay. this will be a serious like performance because we're supporting him right, you know ultimately right. but it's a spotlight for him so it's a quick 20 minute performance but still on the on That's the stage awesome. and so yeah, yeah i'm excited um what would you say your guys' most epic performance to date has been mm. and you could have different obviously so different opinions on that. <laughs> you should have asked us this in a couple of weeks probably because <laughs> oh, yeah. uh next weekend we are flying out to chicago to play this little festival Shut up. Yeah, with a different singer, but we are. That is so cool. Yeah. yeah. So it'll probably be that one. I don't. I don't know. Sorry, no, that would be the up to date. Up. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> we'll be like, shut up. <laughs> That's cool. We really haven't had any big ones like that we play all together because. By the know, time this comes out, you have yeah. you'll have played Chicago, so yeah. also. But you know, we've we've only been playing for you know under a year, so we've mostly been gathering material. That's together. a big. That's a lot to accomplish in a year, though. Like. 
You're in a video shoot with Baby Bash. That's not normal. Yeah, that's not um, normal. And then now you're <laughs> flying to Chicago to play. Like, that's well, pretty cool. Yeah, they're flying us. We're not paying for exactly. it. That's exactly. That's yeah. really cool. That's <laughs> no, yeah. That's a good opportunity that's coming up. And that's, yeah, these opportunities. Nice. We're hoping they continue. Well, I hope that things just keep opening up for you. And as long as you guys are open to the opportunity, yeah, I feel like it'll, absolutely. it'll take off. So, absolutely. congratulations. Um, so, your most epic. What about well, your most not epic? <laughs> I guess you didn't really even I mean, I've had epic, fun right? everywhere we play. We really yeah. haven't played that many places. I'm just, okay. I'm not, actually, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say we had a lot of fun here. I remember yeah, that one specifically. Good. Um, another one that was really fun, um, we played um, one of the artist brews. When yeah. we played Artist Brew, I felt like that was that was a fun night for me. Yeah. Nice. I say so. Those were my two memorable. Other than we played a couple other spots, were cool. But like putting out there and playing is always fun. Yeah. But I remember playing here. That was yeah, fun. Yeah. And then that Artist Brew we did. Yeah, we do have another Artist Brew coming up. We'll be playing yeah. uh, right after Chicago, the Monday following. What is it? The thirteenth? No, no. March. Of March, the thirteenth follows on a Friday. I'm yeah. Sure this month. So, <laughs> so the sixteenth. Yeah, we'll be playing on. Yeah, because we'll be in Chicago. On yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the sixteenth, right when we come back. Sixteenth at the saloon, which you know this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> They'll catch the next one though. Um, but that's really exciting. So who who out of the band really books like your guys' shows usually, or is it whoever has um, connect that week or that month or whatever? Johnny has had. I think Johnny is like the the. Well, he he like knows he knows different people too, mm-hmm. so he's mm-hmm. been able to get us. Nice. Right. Which. We do need to go out there and find some more. Yeah. They were for the Johnny just he plays with a lot of groups for several years, so yeah. he's I see he that people that look for him. Definitely say, Hey, what are you involved in? And then he brings us around. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. No, that's definitely a good connect to have then. You're you're lucky to have him when you're big. Oh, so I know definitely kinda like leeching, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I mean yeah. I feel like it's a it's a obviously he's he likes playing with you guys for a reason, mm-hmm. you know, so it's definitely creativity going back and forth and yeah. you guys are just pulling things that are positive for both of you. So that's awesome. Cool. Um, what do you guys hope to, what's like one of your biggest dreams as a band um, together? And then I kind of want to know if you guys have any projects individually that you're working on or apart from the band too. Well, I, I just like this ride that we're on right now. I mean, these doors opening so soon. I mean, for instance, a couple gigs we have coming up. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm just accepting everything as it comes at the moment. Yeah. I don't ever really have like I wish we can do this. Yeah. I don't have that quite yet. But yeah. I'm, but I'm or hoping what's happening continues. Yeah. Because like the guy we're playing with, Coda, Coda the Barber. He, after a practice, he was like, "Watch, guys. After uh, Chicago, it'll be New York, New Orleans, stuff like Ooh, that." So that's <laughs> exciting. Yeah. I know he's, he's like pumping us yeah. up, but you know, I I hope that it would would come to that. You it know, will. We're not, I'm not saying it will, but you know, it is. It will, it I, is feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I mean, awesome. you just keep writing it, right? Yeah, awesome. you know, it's, we're having fun with it. Good. And so, um, okay, well, if you don't have necessarily, I mean, you're going to keep <laughs> writing that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, that what way. about. Side projects? So yeah, side projects. In a couple. Um, I have some guys I play with do like classic rock, which is kind of my thing to get out there, random restaurants and bars and play. Um, I had another group of friends. I've been a part of th- this group has been gone on and on for the past six years. Um, some good friends of mine. Um, we do mainly they have original um, Spanish rock music. Okay. And I've really loved their stuff. They brought me into it, and I've been trying to revive that. Nice. Um, I've actually brought him along with me, and he can stand us as well. And <laughs> there's some new players in the group, definitely. Um, there's only two original players. I'm not including myself. So two original players. They brought me on, and I'm trying to revive that and. I have that going on, but that's not really just kind of slowly seeing we can make something happen. Nice. But I, I was in a different group with one of my friends. Uh, she's a great singer, great songwriter, love her to death. Hi, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. <laughs> but we really haven't done anything in months. She's she's in school, right, so she hasn't been able to write. Yeah. You know, trying like the bad members that we do have, trying to get everybody together to practice. It's it. It hard. doesn't work. It's it, like, hard. Yeah. yeah, it's like with with these guys, it's it's been really easy actually. Good practice and everything, getting everybody Hold lined on to up. That. Yeah, because it's not like I said, not normal with bands. Yeah. Usually, but it's hard. Yeah. Besides the other project I did with him, that one's kind of dead in the water right now. So okay. Hopefully, you know. And that kind of leads me into a, one of one of close to my last questions is like, how do you find the time to balance real life? Um, 
not real life. I mean, obviously music <laughs> is real life, but I mean everyday I life, you. everyday life. Um, with your practice, your relationships, your family, whatever the case is, like, how do you nurture everything and still have time for your passions? Well, besides work, playing music, I do have. I mentioned I have a puppy. Mm -hmm. it takes a most of the time he's a German Shepherd puppy, so Aww, it's constant yeah, attention, you know, and, yep. constant exercise. Otherwise, he's gonna destroy something. Yeah, <laughs> let's be real. But I have found. It, it hasn't been hard for me to balance it though, maybe because my work hours are early in the morning, so I usually have the rest of the day off. Nice. I, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm cramming. Yeah. Cramming things in. I don't you get feel a lot like more time. time. Yeah. Nice. Good. And what about you? Um, Balancing everything. It's, it's a struggle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's a struggle, but we make it work. I try to leave my certain days open for um, for like the morning, mm -hmm. for the time that we get together, and we've been actually pretty good getting together almost every week. Every so often we break, you know, mm -hmm. but it really comes down to um, saying, hey, let's try to shoot for this day. And maybe like during the week, hey, somebody says I can't make it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just kind of take it as it comes week by week. Mm -hmm. But I personally leave our our night open for us. And that's how I make this happen. My other projects are the ones where I'm like, hey, sometimes I can't, you know, on, something, yeah. something life's happening. I can't go. Yeah. Um, and so you guys both have like regular day jobs or. Yeah. And how do you travel with music and getting time off from work and stuff like that they are very lenient with me. really it's like they I'm, support your music yeah they, well my manager like one of them cool. does he's shown up to past shows and Love stuff it. follows me on instagram that's and awesome he's excited for chicago that's awesome. <laughs> so, me too that's exciting so he's he's good with it um shout out to his boss that's I know. not normal either you just got a maid man <laughs> <laughs> you got a puppy like you. your life is great <laughs> What about you and work? Um, I work retail, but yeah. I work for a music store, so they understand. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, I have to put my time in. You know, by so request. Really, hey. Well, he is working, guys, but he's not really working. He's enjoying what he gets to do. Oh, no, know? no. Sometimes <laughs> it's work, and I gotta, yeah. I gotta please people at times. You know, but um, yeah. I guess it helps working at a music store. Do you get good discounts? I'm always curious about that. Kind I mean, of stuff. it's it's a privilege, but yeah, we do. You know, I guess maybe you shouldn't talk about it. Like, bad <laughs> I mean, company. not when I'm gonna say Sorry. good discount, but I'm just saying, oh yeah, they, you know. For You're working there, putting in the time. Where it was. You're very smart. Yeah, that's what it is. But I yeah. Don't say anything. <laughs> so when I can, you know, put in some time, they're usually pretty good about. Okay. Good. Good luck. Have a good show. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah, they probably have a bunch of musicians that work there, right? Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. Well, is there anything that you guys kind of want to know or let the people know about as far as future shows that will happen after about three weeks from now, so maybe they can catch it? <laughs> well, we don't have anything booked out that far we have um i guess we're in negotiations for different things at the moment so we just got to be on the lookout for your page or instagram yeah. or the only one that's actually it. booked right now would probably be um the artist brew is it the 16th yeah, it's on monday that's, that's that's the only thing that's like can, we're gonna I do i can make you maybe make this come out before yeah. the 16th we'll right. see about that okay yeah if, if i, I like that's the right people date. around anyway so it's not like musician 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 that way you can yeah. kind of break it up so I'll, I'll see what i can do to get the 16th guys they will be at the artist yeah. room <laughs> and johnny with johnny yeah, right? with johnny okay okay um <laughs> unfortunately could not make it and yeah. say for example that everyone can't make it out to the artist room what about um where they can find you online i'll have you tagged under like the morning it's like mm -hmm. underscore more like oh, sorry. underscore the there you go <laughs> I forgot the morning. sorry that's yeah. not important the morning was important yeah. right <laughs> and then um n no side projects that you want to shout out or your mom, you don't want to thank your mom for. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, mom. I yes. wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> well, I'm really yeah. excited for you guys. I will continue watching and supporting your journey. I really like picking people's brains on their processes and what makes them want to do what they do. So, thank you for sharing your story.